My name is Stephen Roper from the University of Warwick and I'm delighted to be partnering with GE in this second year of our mid-market research. In phase one of the research last year, uh, we profiled the mid-market, its size, scale. This year we've gone a little bit further, it, more in-depth interviews with le company leaders, over 2,200 senior executives from mid-market companies in France, Germany, Italy and the UK. And we've asked them a little bit about how their companies have grown and the business challenges they face going forward. This is really the only research of its type that compares in great depth mid-market attitudes, sentiment and growth across these four EU economies. Uh, the UK headlines from uh, this year's report uh, are really that UK firms have a very bullish attitude to, uh, to growth. They've grown over the last year and they see future growth uh, over the next year. One other key result is around what we call growth champions. Growth champions are the fastest growing 17% of the UK mid-market. And four things mark them out in our research. The first is that these are ambitious companies targeting future growth. The second is that these companies are reinvesting for the future in skills, in market development, in R&D and innovation. The third thing is that they have access to finance and they're using a range of different alternative sources uh, of finance. And the fourth is these are ambitious exporters keen to grow export sales and particularly grow export sales in emerging markets. The key message from this research is that 2013 finds the UK mid-market in bullish mood. Uh, they've grown over the last year and they anticipate future growth. But there are strong headwinds out there in the marketplace uh, and significant market challenges both in domestic and external markets. The UK mid-market is reinvesting and planning to increase its investment to overcome those challenges. Uh, and the view is a positive one, that we see past growth in the mid-market and buoyant growth for the future. Following on from last year's re research, where we emphasised the potential role of the mid-market as an element of rebalancing, many mid-market firms are located in central and northern regions of the UK. This year, uh, we see mid-market firms really reflecting the broader north-south divide. Mid-market firms in the south growing most strongly, in fact growing faster than German mid-market companies. And firms in the central and northern regions of the UK lagging somewhat in terms of their growth and job creation. Our research shows that the UK mid-market companies have grown sales as rapidly nearly as the German mid-market over the last year. But we're still lagging behind in some other areas, particularly in terms of jobs growth. The UK mid-markets created about 70,000 new jobs over the last year. But if we'd matched the German mid-market in terms of employment growth, in terms of jobs growth, we would have created an additional 80,000 or more jobs. Our research suggests that UK mid-market companies have a much less optimistic view of European market growth than their counterparts in Germany, France and Italy. When we asked uh, mid-market businesses how crucial European Union membership was for future growth, uh, less than half of UK companies emphasised EU membership compared to around two-thirds of companies in Germany, France and Italy. Why not join me uh, at the Mid-Market Summit on the 2nd of July uh, to hear a little bit more about the research from me and from other people uh, and to find out where your company fits uh, within the European Mid-Market.